going on boxing fans? It's Kenneth SB and Boxing. Speak Boxing. Visit us on the web at www.spnboxing.com. Um, Adrian Brown and Paulie fight. Finish. We're waiting on the results. Um, I got a 115-113. Broner. Um, but I'm impressed by Paulie. Paulie actually lasted. He's a more active fighter. He threw a lot more punches. Uh, we're going to see... Uh, um, but it just all depends on your judges. It depends on, you know, Paulie looked good in this fight, you know. Paulie definitely did his thing. He did what he... You know uh, what what he came to do. He definitely didn't have the power. He didn't have much to work with, but he had the speed and the and, uh, and the experience. You know, he looked good. He was in and out, being the more active fighter. Adrian Broner, he had Broner all over the place, a little frustrated, but Broner landed the bigger shots. But he wasn't that active whatsoever. Power shots, hands down, it was Broner. Uh, Paulie, Paulie was just a more active fighter, but I'll give the fight to Broner. I got Broner up by two rounds. But right, let's see what the judges have to say. You know, um, and Paulie's not, <clears throat> Paulie's not, you know, he's the champion at 147, but every, every boxing fan knows out there that, you know, Paulie, Broner, for all the shit that talk that he does and shit like that. The way it was making it seem, he should have he should have walked through Pauly, but that didn't happen. <laughs> split decision. Split decision. One fifteen, one thirteen. Broner. One fifteen, one thirteen, Paulie. Oh. Adrian hey, Broner takes the fight. Split decision. I'm gonna agree with that. One seventeen, one eleven, though. Paulie did his thing, but it was, it, was a, it was a boring fight. Yeah. I'm going to let Angel speak the truth on this fight. Um, I expected more to fight. Back up. I expected more to fight. I I think Adrian Broner could have did a little bit more. Uh, I feel they should have gave the, the fight to Paulie just because he landed more punches. He threw more punches. And he was more active throughout the whole fight. Not just that. He was... But you were going, you're going for Broner. Though. I was going for Broner, but Paulie was such an underdog. And... Everybody expected a knockout. Everybody expected so much more, and nothing happened. He held his own. He, he fought his fight. He fought his fight, and he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? I think Paul should have got that fight. My opinion, though. It's only my opinion, folks. It's my opinion. Paulie fought exactly how I thought he was gonna fight. was just being quick. Literally cut him off the whole fight. Anyways, guys, this is Kenneth SB and Boxing. It's about 12.30 right now. Uh, what's next for Pauli Malnagy? What's next for Adrian Broner? I think Adrian Broner needs to... I know Adrian Broner had to move up in two pounds, you know, um, two weight classes to take on a fight like this. So that's cool. But he needs to... You know, against Floyd Mayweather Jr. was there. <laughs> it, Broner has a lot to learn, man. You know, he's young. He's, he's getting experience more and more and more, but he'll, he'll, he'll learn a little bit better. He, he definitely, there's a lot of flaws in his game, but he has a lot of power and a lot of speed, but he just needs to learn a little bit more about boxing. But, anyways, this is Kenneth. Friend request, subscribe. Have a good one.